TikTok, the number one app in the world. The easiest way to gain followers on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and become famous. Well, today I'm gonna be answering all the unanswered questions a lot of TikTokers avoid and spill some damn tea. So let's get straight into the video. <laughs> The number one question that is asked is how much do TikTokers actually make? The answer is a damn lot. When I had 200,000 and I went live, I made $50 every single broadcast and I would charge $50 for a music promo on my account but now I have 1.5 mil and bigger brands like Doritos, Fashion Nova, blah 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 I could charge to $10,000 right now and just imagine with the people with 10 million followers how much they could charge I know friends that can charge $20,000 and on my broadcast before they made the update that fans can't gift under 18 I was making $400, $500 a broadcast and now now I make like 150 to 200 dollars a broadcast. But here's the funny part: there was a lot of creators only going live for the money, not to just connect with the fans or inspire people. They were just going live for the money. So when that update happened, they literally stopped going live, made an OnlyFans account because they were losing money. Like how desperate? How, that is desperate. That is hella desperate. Like if you're a creator and you only went live for the money to get your fans money, bro, you are just canceled bro the next question is how do you grow fast now i'm so sick of hearing all this damn bull crap of good lighting quality co get the hell out of here i've seen tiktokers with not quality content and they just had the looks and they got boom famous so i'm so sick of all these youtubers and tiktokers saying yo you just need good lighting you need a good background blah blah, blah. all this crap no 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 I'm gonna tell you how it is for real. The number one way people are gaining on Instagram right now is by dyeing their hair. Like what the hell? They dye their hair on TikTok, don't show anyone, just shows everyone's reaction saying, oh my God, that looks so bad. And then says, go on my Instagram, they'll see the results and they put their Instagram on private so everyone has to follow. That is the dumbest way to even gain. Everyone gains two, you can have like five thousand followers and then you do that video and you gain 200,000 followers but that is the stupidest way to gain because after a week they become inactive and you literally have 200,000 followers and you get 10,000 likes like get the hell out of no 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 that's not how you gain if you really want dedicated followers then they're gonna follow you because they like your content they like who you are they like your personality like just let them follow you naturally a legitimate way to gain followers is follow the trends. If you're on TikTok and you see a video like a thousand times, do the trend. Do the trend and everyone will like it if you do it good. So if you want followers, follow the trends, have your own technique, look unique. I swear, everyone that looks unique and it is, oh my God, the randomest people just blow up. Like I see this guy on TikTok that has ADHD and he talks literally for a minute straight and he has almost a million followers. That's all you have to do to become famous? Like, really? All you have to do? <laughs> so if you're wondering why people just blow up out of nowhere, well, there's multiple reasons. They, literally, if they're in a guy group, the guy groups on TikTok do phenomenal. And if y'all just post 24-7, then bam, you guys are just gonna get a lot of attention on each one of you guys' accounts. And if you are unique, if you're unique and you do something totally different and you embarrass yourself and you make yourself look like an idiot, then that's relatable. If you make, if you're relatable, then people are just gonna love you. And of course, if you're just a part of like a house like a TikTok house or you're friends with someone famous then of course you're going to become a po you're gonna be popular and you could just post anything and it's gonna get 100,000 likes or 200,000 likes like it's gonna work okay so what are the pros and cons of being a TikToker well there's more pros than cons because literally I don't need to leave my house and go to work every day because I just do TikTok YouTube and Instagram and make money off of social media the second pro is being a TikToker is just lit we could make any content we want and I live in LA, so I'm around TikTokers 24 seven and we could collab and make creative content all the time and be a trendsetter instead of a follower. The third pro is I could travel anywhere in the world 
and still make money. I could be a TikToker in Australia. I could be a TikTok. I could be a TikToker anywhere, and you can still make money from TikTok and have a job. It's like a job. You just go anywhere in the world and you still make money, and it's just lit. It you it is lit. The number one con of being a TikToker is if you're in high school or middle school, blah blah blah, whatever, you're just gonna get made fun of. Like it's just gonna happen. When I was in high school, I got made fun of 24/7, and I lost a lot of friends because they thought I was cringy and was like what the hell are you doing you're like you're here what are you doing on TikTok like when I first started TikTok I deadass had so many haters so many haters at my school and everyone just disliked me but they knew me because I did I did social media and everyone else didn't and then I started to gain followers and followers and I remember being in class and kids showed my teachers my TikTok and everyone just started laughing and laughing and now look at me they try to reach out to me so whoever is hating on you just say screw them screw them because if you become big they're gonna try and be your fan so don't worry about it another big con is literally everyone steals each other's content and a lot of people get salty like a lot of people I've stolen like three ideas before from people and they get hella salty and these tiktokers don't even care they don't even care if you're friends or not like they would just disown you so everyone knows about the TikTok houses in LA, and if you don't, then we got the Sway House, the Hype House, the Click House, the Influencers House. Now let's talk about how it actually is to live in one of these houses. I lived in a TikTok house the first five months of living in LA, and it was horrible. It was literally horrible. I'm not saying that living in these houses are horrible, but from my experience, oh my god, they was so bad. We got all these creators living in these TikTok houses for free. Some of them don't live for free, but some of them do. And they take advantage of living for free. So they just sit back and relax and post two TikToks a day and they, and they call it, yeah, I'm good. I'm good for the day. It was literally horrible. And I just got reached out to live in another house coming up in LA. And I'm like, ha, I'm not getting involved. Like I was speaking to the guy on the phone and he just seemed like he, he was so new to everything. And I'm like, no, beep, skirt, not doing that. No, 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 no. But basically to run down on how these houses actually work is all of them have an investor. They pay for the house and they pay for everyone to live there. But the brand deals that they make, they have a cut and it gets taken out of their pay and it goes back into the house, the management, whoever, whoever runs them. And that's how the house keeps running and running and running. All right, so this one's the most funniest one. Bryce Hall and Josh Richards diss track. It was fire, it was fire as hell. And I don't ever see Charlie and Lil Huddy together on TikTok, Instagram, ever. Like, I haven't seen them in for, forever. So I don't even think that relationship is real. I, I think it's fake. I totally think it's fake and Lil Huddy is hitting up Josh's girl if that was me I would do the same exact thing I'd be like boy who the hell you have a whole ass girl and you're hitting up my my girl what I would I would think that I would think that Lil Huddy wants to stay with Charlie because she is the the top creator on TikTok. I'm just wondering if Lil Huddy is gonna make a diss track back, but I don't. I don't believe that. Cause how can you come back from that? Alright, so everyone asked me this for some reason is what is my honest opinion about Danielle Cohen? Well, <laughs> Everyone says I look like her ex, Mikey Tua. I, I don't see it at all, but everyone says it. When I first met her, she said that. But yeah, my relationship with her, we are tight. We're good friends, and I think she's an amazing person. And like, everyone just goes at her for no reason because of her age, blah, blah, blah. Like, just leave her alone. Like, there's nothing to go after her for. She's a good person. She just bought a house. Like, she is successful, and people are still coming at her. Like, she's, she lives her own life. Like, leave her alone. Do TikTokers have beef with each other? <laughs> That's so obvious. Hell yeah. I've had beef with so many TikTokers. It's either it's either they took my idea, I took their idea. Like if you take a TikToker's idea and it goes more viral viral than theirs, it's over. It's literally over. Especially if you take their idea and you have way more followers than them and you don't even give them credit. Now now I I would get pissed off 
automatically. But yes, TikTokers can be hella petty. If they have a lot of power and you are just a lower influencer, they could just try to get your Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok all hacked. Like, it shit gets real. Everyone wants to know how long I'm gonna be doing TikTok. I'm 19, so I'll probably like do it till 23. But I will not do it when I'm 26, 27. Like, I'm going to be doing bigger and better things. Like, I want to be a full-time YouTuber by then. I YouTube has always just been my thing. So, I want to be on YouTube 100% and just forget about TikTok. I don't, it, TikTok is just, like, temporary. YouTube is long-term. But, yeah. Anyways, if you guys like this video, if you guys like the diss track, like the video because it was fire. If you guys like Charlie, like the video. If, blah, blah, blah. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. It ain't my fault.